All right, last video of topic seven. So the video is called factor out a common factor. So we're gonna look for a GCF, which is what we always should do. Um, but we're just gonna mix up a few ideas here together and, and do some factoring completely. And you'll just, you'll see what's gonna happen here. So if we look at this binomial, is there a GCF for the first two or for the two terms? And we would say, oh yeah, we got a GCF. Look at the coefficients. Um, three is the smallest coefficient that fits into 12. So I know three is part of my GCF. Both terms have X's. Um, the most that they have in common is an X to the first power. Both terms have Y's, but the most Y's they have in common is a Y to the first. So we have a GCF of three XY. We write it down, put a parenthesis, and now let's factor a 3xy out of both terms. When you factor a 3xy out of that first term, we're left with an x squared. Carry it on your subtraction. Factor a 3x squared out of that term. I'm sorry, a 3xy out of that term. And you are left with a 4y squared. So we factored out a GCF. Can we continue to do any more factoring? So Oh, a key thing to look for is the fact that this is just two terms. Anytime it's two terms, you want to check to see if you have a difference of squares. Did we square anything to get an x squared? We did. Do we square anything to get a 4y squared? Yeah, that's a 2y times a 2y. And are we finding the difference? Yes, there is subtraction. So we can factor that difference of squares into the sum and difference, the two binomials, so x plus 2y times x minus 2y. And then we don't want to forget we had that GCF that comes down for our final answer. So here is factored form of this original binomial. All right, moving on to part b. 4x cubed plus 24x squared plus 36x. Do we have a GCF that we could factor out of all terms? Guess what? We do. <laughs> so coefficients, we have a 4, 24, and 36. The smallest one, 4, does fit into the other two. So 4 is in our GCF, and all three terms have x's. The most x's they have in common is an x to the first power. So we're going to factor a 4x out of each term. You take a 4x out of 4x cubed, leaves you with x squared. Factor a 4x out of 24x squared leaves you with 6x. And then if you factor a 4x out of 36, x leaves you with a positive 9. So we did our GCF factoring. Now we notice that we have a trinomial. And we're working on perfect square trinomials. Any chance this is a perfect square trinomial? Do we square anything to get x squared? Do we square anything to get a 9? And then is our middle term 2 times that x times that 3? And it is. So that means we can write this as a binomial squared, x plus 3 squared. And that GCF carries down. So here's our factored form. All right, last one. Look for a GCF. Um, 50 and 32, that might be kind of tricky. Do they have any com anything in common? I don't know, but they're both even. If both or if all your terms are even, then for sure there's a GCF of or there's a common factor of two. Is that the greatest common factor? And in this case, it is. Um, do both terms have x's? Do both terms have y's? They do not. So our greatest common factor is just a two. So we're going to factor that out. Factor a, a two out of 50x squared leaves you with 25x squared minus factor a 2 out of 32y squared leaves you a 16y squared. All right, so we took out a GCF. Can we do any more factoring? Well, inside the parentheses, we have two terms. When it's two terms, look to see if you might have that difference of squares. Are we squaring anything to get a 25x squared? Yep, that's a 5x times 5x. Do we square anything to get a 16y squared? Yep, 4y times 4y. And are we finding the difference? And we are. So we can factor this into our pattern. 5x plus 4y times 5x minus 4y. 
And I just want to give you guys a heads up. It's really easy to forget that we've already factored out our GCF. That is part of our final answer. If we don't include it, then we would get marked off because we didn't have our factored form includes all of the factors, which is your GCF as well.